Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to explain what a proxy server is. So what is a proxy server? Proxy server is a server that acts as a go-between between a client workstation and another server. So to give you an example right here, here's our uh, workstation right here. Normally, if we wanted to make a request to a uh, server on the internet, we would go through the router. Uh, and also often a firewall at this point. And uh, we would then go into the internet and across the internet to our server. And so this is how we would connect uh, normally when we uh, request information from internet server. Now with a proxy server, what we actually do is we start at the workstation and we go to the proxy server first and put out our request. This could be a request for uh, a web page or database information, any number of things. And then we go to the router, out to the internet, into the final server. And this is our connection then. The advantage to doing this is that the proxy server can kind of handle security and it can make the workstation anonymous. And it also adds a layer of protection. So when the uh, the proxy server goes out, uh, all the requests go through it so it can monitor if there's a problem with the request and it can block things from actually going back to the workstation. And the other advantage to this is you can use a proxy server if you only want to allow certain sites into a network. Like for instance, you only want secure sites in or if uh, you want to block certain sites or certain content. So this can this is an easy way to block content or restrict what sites people can see on a network. So the major type of proxy server or the main type that you see the most often is what's called a web proxy server. And a web proxy server is for uh, websites. So once again, we started the workstation, we go to the proxy server. The proxy server makes the request to the web server for the page. And um, when it does this, it will have to go through a router and a firewall, of course. We've skipped all of that in this one. So it goes to the web server, it makes a request for the page, and then it comes back to the proxy server. And the proxy server may look at the page. It may it may actually even look at the URL to the website. If it's on a list that's not allowed, it may block it. It may look at what the web server sends back, so it might scan it for viruses or a certain type of content. And if the, the, the uh, proxy server thinks everything's okay, it will continue and it will go back to the workstation. So once again, we can block anything at the, the proxy server or set up different programs on the proxy proxy server to scan what's coming through as well. Or we could just use the proxy server to anonymize the uh, workstation. So what happens is uh, the web server only knows the proxy server is, is, is making the request. So it knows nothing about this workstation because it has no direct connection to the workstation. Now, one advantage to this is another type of proxy server that we see often is something called a search engine proxy server. So DuckDuckGo.com and StartPage.com are, are search engines that are basically uh, search engine proxy servers. They look at other search engines like Google and they anonymize you and they keep Google from getting information and advertising information from you. And this is an example of, of, of one thing uh, a search engine proxy server will do. So so what happens is you do a search request to the uh, proxy server and then it goes out to a search engine and sometimes multiple search engines and it gets back the results. If it's doing multiple search engines it may uh, concatenate and put together all of the results and m may rank each server in a particular way uh, or come up with some sort of presentation. So it it may uh, look at certain sites, it, it will block the search engine from directly finding out information about the workstation as well. And uh, so when it sends, so when the uh, request comes back from the search engine, the proxy server, after it's examined it and sent it back, uh, 
the workstation is anonymous, so so it, the the search engine can't put any cookies on it. It can't find out a lot of things about the workstation that it would be able to if they were directly connected. So that's what a proxy server is and what it does. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.